Welcome to two carts, different mass. Now we're going to take a mass and add it to one of the carts, and we're going to try and do the same thing as we did before. Unfortunately, the normal modes are no longer symmetric, and it's harder to set them up, but we're going to try the best we can to get the normal modes. We're going to first start to set up the one that's the equivalent of the center of mass motion, and we're going to see how well that works. What you'll find in this case is the spring actually does stretch a little bit, but as I said before, if we can get the normal mode correct, you'll see that the motion looks about the same and repeats itself without changing from one kind of motion to another motion. And this looks like a pretty good example of that kind of a normal mode. You also can time the period just as we did before using the clock in the video. Now we're going to try and set up the second oscillation period. In this case, we're going to be stretching the middle string significantly more. Now you may at first say this looks a little bit like that uh, beats that we had before, but you can see this motion really seems to be repeating itself and it looks like we've gotten pretty close to the normal mode. To give you an idea of what happens when you really have beats, and it's a little bit harder to tell the difference when you have the heavy mass, we're going to just displace one of them, leaving the other one fixed, and we'll see what happens in this case. So it does look a little bit the same, but if you focus carefully, you can see the heavy mass has a much more jerky motion to it, and that's the analog of the one mass stopping and the other one moving that we had before with the beats. It's just in this asymmetric case, it doesn't work out exactly that well, and so it's a little bit different and it's harder to set up and see.